After going through these slides, you will get information about all main parts inside a typical laptop. You can identify the different parts and components of a laptop. We will study description of these parts in detail with images so that you can recognize them. Laptops are designed to have all the functionality of a desktop computer, which means they can generally run the same software and open same type of files. A laptop comprises of many components which help in its functioning. These parts are interconnected and result in its operation performed while using it. Each and every component installed in laptop poses its own property and usage and further help in coordination function of other parts. Here you can see some enlisted part of laptop which includes RAM, ROM, keyboard, screen, battery, CD, DVD drive, processor, sound board, camera, etc. Now let us study the detailed explanation of these different parts that a laptop have. Random access memory. A random access memory is a device which allow data and information item to be read and written in the same amount of time regardless of the order in which the data are accessed. RAM is normally associated with volatile type of memory where stored information is lost if the power is removed. It is a temporary data storage device. There are two main form of modern RAM. These are static RAM and dynamic RAM. In static RAM, a bit of data is stored using the state of 6 transistor memory cell. This form of RAM is more expensive to produce but, is gen but in general faster and require less power than as comparison to dynamic RAM. And in modern computer is often used to cache memory for the CPU. ROM commonly refer to memory that there are two main form of modern RAM. These are static RAM and dynamic RAM. In SRAM, a bit of data is stored using the state of 6 transistor memory cell. This form of RAM is more expensive to produce but is generally faster and require less power than DRAM. And in modern computer and laptop, it is often used as cache memory for the CPU. Read-only memory ROM commonly refers to memory that is read-only in normal operation, while reserving the fact of some possible way to change it. Read-only memory refers to the memory that is hardwired such as diode matrix and later mask ROM. Thus, it is a type of built-in memory that is competent of holding data and having that data read from the chip but not written to. Other ROM are EP-ROM and EEP-ROM, that is, erasable programmable read-only memory and electrically erasable program read-only memory. These type of memory can be erased and reprogrammed multiple times. Writing to this memory takes a longer and may require different procedure than reading the memory. LCD screen LCD screens are liquid crystal displays. You can say it is a flat panel display or electronic visual display. It is also called as video display that uses the light mounting properties of liquid crystal. Liquid crystal do not emit light directly. CDs are available to display attributary images, fixed images which can be displayed or hidden, such as preset words, digits and 7 segment displays, as in digital clocks. Laptop screens come in different sizes and resolution. In order to measure the LCD screen size, you will have to measure the screen from the two diagonal corners. The LCD screen is more energy efficient and, key and can be disposed of more safely than a CRT tube. Its low electrical power consumption enables it to be used in battery power electronic equipment. What is a screen inverter? 
A screen inverter is a small circuit board in a laptop computer that passes a power current from the body of the machine to attach liquid crystal displays that is LCD screens. It works by running a direct electrical current from a motherboard into alternating current. The alternating current that spark when what is as a backlight and a complex series of signal that cause the images generated from hard drive to appear on screen. The inverter board function as a power supply for the backlight lamp mounted inside the LCD screen. The inverter board transforms the low voltage DC power supplied by a motherboard to high voltage AC power needed for the backlight lamp. Laptop inverter board are also called LCD inverter, FL inverter, screen inverter and backlight inverter. Now what screen backlight lamp is? It is also known as backlight bulb, screen backlight function of CCL tube or bulb. Backlight lamp is the only source of light in a laptop LCD screen. A laptop LCD screen has only one backlight lamp installed. The backlight lamp mount inside the laptop screen in the lower part of the screen. A pair of cable with a connector coming from the screen plug into the screen inverter board. The backlight lamp receive high voltage AC power from the screen inverter board which receive low voltage DC power from the motherboard through LCD screen cable. Now we will study what a battery is. As we all know a battery is a device consisting of one or more electrochemical cell that convert chemical energy into electrical energy. Every laptop has a battery pack which provide power to a laptop which it is not connected to a wall plug although through AC and DC power adapter. Laptop battery come in many different shapes and they are model specific. The life of a battery depend on, depends on certain condition and circumstances like screen brightness, intensity run of running program, the temperature of working environment. You can expand the life of a battery by optimizing pow the power usage setting of control panel. What is a cooling fan in laptop? CPU cooling fan is a committed fan which cools down the heat sink and in due course of the CPU.